anything about lean printing? No. No. Lean? You mean as in thin? Lean printing. Lean printing. I have heard about the lean printing. Okay. Which printing? Lean printing. No, not exactly. You don't know about lean no. printing? Either. No. No, we're, we're not following lean printing right now. Oh. And are there certain things that you do? Yes, we do, you don't do 10 tests just to make sure it's right. You, know, you only do one, in theory. And how important do you think lean, uh, lean printing is to your customers? Definitely the way of the future. Well, lean printing is really just the applications of lean management principles that really were founded by the Toyota uh, manufacturing company. Um, and we've written several books now to uh, bring those principles to the printing industry. We think that lean management is, is portable and applicable to every industry. And um, with the competitive conditions that the printers are facing right now, um, lean is really principled on a couple of foundational items, um, continuous improvement and respect for people. And, and both of those are focused on finding ways to create value and finding ways to drive waste out of your business. So to make printers more competitive, we think it's a logical extension to bring lean printing to uh, uh, the print industry. Why is lean printing so important for package printers? Well, package printing is really a manufacturing business and it's critical as run lengths get shorter, as the market gets more competitive, it's just critical that package printers bring lean principles so that they can reduce setup time, so they can really focus on customer value and ensure that they can be competitive in the marketplace. And what are the most effective ways for a package printer to adopt a lean management workflow? Well, the most effective ways, um, if you haven't begun already, is, is really to start. Um, and, and to start with education. We think um, that education of your workforce is, is paramount. Um, one of the foundational principles of Lean is to build teams and empower your workforce and really build and manage an empowered culture. Um, we've written several books on the process of, of Lean printing. There are many other books that are out there that you can use to educate your, your employees. Uh, there's a wealth of workshops and seminars that are available to help educate your employees. Um, when you have a task like that, sometimes it's as easy as, as buying a few books and then giving people different responsibilities to, um, you know, maybe just read a chapter of the book and then teach that chapter to the rest of the employees. But, but to become lean, you have to understand lean, and, and understanding comes from education. Um, so you need some sort of educational plan for how you're going to explain the concepts to your employees, um, and then you simply have to start. There, there's no magic recipe, there's no uh, perfect answer or perfect route for any one individual printer. So you pick the point where you feel um, you can make the most impact, um, and you start, and you start experimenting and then learning from your, learning from your victories and, and learning from your losses as well and, and, uh, and focusing on, on continuing to improve your business. To what extent does colour pose a challenge in, to achieving a lean workflow in package printing? Well, so much of colour work in packaging is about colour matching on press, and that is just a time-consuming process. I mean, we see uh, changeovers and make-readies take an hour or more simply because we spend all this time color matching toning inks, trying to get that perfect color match for a brand color. And th that's just, you're not gonna be able to operate in a competitive environment if you can't figure out ways to take that process offline. And so being able to get an accurate color match um, when you come to press and you have startup and immediately get that up to color for that brand color, um, that's the only way you're going to really be able to be competitive in the, in the years ahead as we get into shorter and shorter runs and, and uh, the need for quicker make readies. And what is your advice for overcoming these uh, color challenges? The advice I'd give for overcoming these color challenges are to in fact make sure that you have a robust process that you can ensure color on startup. Uh, GSE brings that to the table with their um, with their dispensing system and then also with the perfect proof for being able to um, replicate press conditions in an offline environment so they can you can ensure that you're getting color match right as you start up the press. And so what are your future plans for research? Well we're continuing to look um, we teach around the world we do workshops around the world we've done workshops in the Middle East and Canada and Europe um, we're here at Drupa working with GSE today um, we did a workshop in Mexico um, just in January with a, a group of printers from the Czech Republic. Um, so as the word gets out, people are asking us to come and, and teach and help educate their employees. Um, we hope to continue to write. We've probably, between the two of us, written 25 articles in various publications on Lean. 
Um, the Setup Production book was the third book that we have authored. Um, and we have a fourth book that we're beginning to think about uh, possibly focusing on uh, Kaizen events um, and ways you can use Kaizen as a means of uh, better implementing Lean into your business. And so we have a couple of ideas. We also have a novel on the drawing table right now that we haven't decided that, uh, um, but there'll be, there will be more written, I think, from us on Lean, um, all intended to help the industry, to help printers get a better understanding of what Lean means and, and how it can help them be more competitive. That's, that's the goal that we have. Um, with whatever we do. Fantastic. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. For Thank you. <laughs>